Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Everyone, welcome back to Prayers of the Pious. So last time we spoke about the death of uh, Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, and the way that he longed for uh, the last of his deeds to be the best, the last of his days to be the best, and the best uh, moment to be that moment that he meets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now when you go to the situation of Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, I just want you to imagine knowing that you are going to be killed, that your ending is going to be murder. Um, and the reason why Umar would know this is because the Prophet, peace be upon him, was with Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman on Uhud, on Mount Uhud, and it shook. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Uthbut ya Uhud, be firm, O Uhud. You have upon you a Prophet, a Siddiq, a man of truth, being Abu Bakr, and two martyrs, referring to uh, Umar and Uthman. So Umar was very well aware of the fact that he would be martyred, but that wasn't enough for him. He knew that he was guaranteed Jannah, uh, paradise, because the Prophet, peace be upon him, mentioned him on numerous occasions as being one who was guaranteed paradise. He knew that he would be a martyr. Um, he still feared hypocrisy because he would actually ask uh, Hudayfa, who had the names of the hypocrites, if he was on that list that the Prophet, peace be upon him, gave. And he made so many du'as about the moment that he would be killed, about who would kill him, where he would be killed, and how he would be killed. And uh, there's the famous du'a where he used to say, Allahumma rzukhni shahadatan fi sabilik, waj'al mawti fi baladi nabiyik. Oh Allah, allow me to be a martyr in your path and let that martyrdom take place in the city of your Prophet. Now, it's amazing because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, obviously was based in Medina, the Muslims were based in Medina. The idea of him being killed in Medina um, was very unlikely. And when he used to make that du'a, when he used to make that supplication, he, uh, his daughter asked him, how can you die a martyr in the city of Medina? And he said, if Allah wants it to happen, it will happen. He was very confident that it will happen regardless. And it's very beautiful and powerful that this man that one day went out to kill the Prophet, peace be upon him, became Muslim and would be killed in the city of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and be buried next to him instead, which just shows you that you never know uh, the ending of a person. He also made this dua. He said, "Allahumma la taj'al qatli ala yadi abdin sajda laka sajdatan yuhajuni biha yom al qiyamah." He said, "Oh Allah, do not let my killing be at the hand of someone who ever prostrated to you, lest he use that against me on the day of judgment." Meaning, Omar was did not want to be killed by a believer. He didn't want to be killed by someone who had any semblance of righteousness. He didn't want to be killed by someone shouting Allahu Akbar or saying La ilaha illallah. And it's when, when he was stabbed, when Umar was stabbed as he was leading the prayer in the masjid of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the first question he asked was, uh, the person who stabbed me, was, was he a Muslim? Was it, was it a believer? And when they told him that it wasn't, he, he said, Alhamdulillah, Allah did not make my ending come at the hands of a believer. Uh, it's very powerful, very beautiful that Umar radiallahu anhu was so detached from this world and so attached to the gardens of paradise that he had already encompassed all of this in his supplication. So he asked Allah, just to recap, he asked Allah to die a martyr. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that if someone's sincere in asking for shahada, asking for martyrdom, you could die a martyr even in your bed. You could literally die in your sleep and be a martyr if you're sincere enough in that supplication. He asked Allah to die in the city of the Prophet, peace be upon him, which is also something that the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, said that, you know, uh, whoever amongst you uh, can die in Medina, let him do so. Meaning, spending as much time in Medina and longing uh, for a death in Medina because the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I intercede for the one who has died in Medina. And then lastly, his care and love for this ummah and his fear of having a believer contest him on the day of judgment. He asks Allah that the person that kills him not be a believer and Allah granted him all of that, all of those unlikely uh, circumstances. And there he is uh, buried right next to Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and the Prophet, peace be upon him. So do not underestimate the power of Allah for nothing is impossible to the most merciful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all a righteous death, allow us all to be granted shahada uh, martyrdom and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to die in the city of his beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and not let our lives be taken in some sort of fitna or trial amongst the believers. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. I'll see you all next time inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.